I'm excited because I think that this might be a revolution in how I get about. In my general direction. What's that? <laughs> oh! Is it one of them things you stand on? Yeah. Oh, for God's this sake. This is my first ever uh, go at one. Well, I had a little go upstairs, that's what made the noise. It's lit up. <gasps> God, you're nuts. Couldn't you have got one with an and one to hold on to? Oh no. Shit. I ain't carrying you back up the hill if you break your ankle. Okay, a little update on the situation. And the 18th, it arrived in the Netherlands. Barking. What way is it supposed to be going? Two little blue lights are on. I have to lean forward. Oh, shit. Ah. Yeah, see. See if you can run me over and then we get us on the film all tangled up on the floor. Yeah, no, I've got the hang of it now. It's all super. Did you mean to go on the grass or not? Oh god, it comes to bikes, haven't it? Yeah, where did you get that from? I got it on Amazon. I just typed in um, self balancing board and it's just all on Amazon. How much was it? I want to get it. Yeah, I want to hear. Yeah. I'm glad you asked. How okay. much was it, Sam? But because I'm Amazon, I can't tell you how much. I oh, paid for it. God's sake, just how much it was, Sam. It was, uh, it was the 240 quid I paid for. Fucking hell. I mean, That's what I would have said. I was supposed to be filming, isn't it? Is that filming? Oh, look at him bobbing along right now. I've been using it for about 10 minutes, I reckon. Ish, and I'm starting to get the hang of it. You just don't have to think, you just have to go. I've just got back from a three and a half mile uh, test run. So I had the little trial outside with camera woman mum and uh, that was great, I was getting used to it. But then I came back up the hill with her to my house, dropped off my camera because I kind of could have crushed it. I probably would have crushed it if I had it with me. I didn't actually fall off flat down, I stumbled a couple of times and the uh, the device went off but um, yes yeah, so I put that there, went all along my house to town and then back again I went around a car park quite a bit, about a three and a half mile trip I saw a lot of people look at it which was great and I saw giving wet little warnings here and there uh, it was called Eccentric which was also great I had a really nice time going around and it got very smooth uh, the only issue is that there were you know, some potholes and bits like that and I couldn't, I think it was my hesitation that, that made me sort of wanted to want to sort of get off quite quickly. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it was great fun and I've glided along. The issue I have with it is that um, it, it's got real scuffs, uh, really quite prominent ones already where I fell off it uh, a lot, uh, an awful lot. Uh, it's a sign of good use, but uh, it's a bit of a shame that it's not brand new and shiny um, and I've only had it for a few hours. Ah, slight issue with continuity. I meant to film it all yesterday and edit it today and then I forgot one little bit. I just wanted to say how much it weighs. Um, it weighs 10 kilograms, 22 pounds-ish. And, you know, I'm super strong and I've got no issues with it, but I can imagine for most people, it's, uh, including me, it's quite a pain in the, the bum to pick up and carry, and uh, yeah. I've been through the instruction manual, the user guide, and generally it's okay, I've got the gist of it. Uh, but this one particular bit I didn't get, it's in the uh, warning section for driving a device. Uh, this bit makes sense, children should not be less than 20 kilograms in weight and should be protected by the adults driving, it's fine. Has a history, for those who have a history of heart disease and use it high blood pressure. But this bit I don't get. And lack ego to protect consciousness of the old man hands, the inconvenience band driving. Hmm. I'm not a fan of walking, I don't like walking. Saying that though, if it was a, you know the beach, I'd love going on strolls for miles and miles and miles and miles. I just love it. But to I find walking an incredibly inefficient way of getting about. And to say, oh, I'm just going to walk into town to me would be an incredibly frustrating thing to do. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit over the top, possibly. I am over the top. I am over the top. I like to cycle. I adore cycling. I'm just getting on the bike, going chang, chang, chang. Just, I love it. I love the wind. I love it. sweeping through my hair. It's just great. But I don't like the fact that from location to location, except when I'm at home, I have to lock my bike up. And I know it doesn't take too long, but it's just not necessarily the process of locking it, but the idea that it could be stolen. If anyone has been in my presence before, they will know that I am incredibly paranoid about whether, oh, someone, oh, someone, oh, what are they doing over there? Oh, they look quite close to up. But I can, I just get a bit worried about it. And I think that it's, or I know that it stems from when my bike was, well, I had two bicycles stolen from university. Also, when I arrive at my destination, I'm usually hot, sweaty, and out of breath, and it does sometimes take quite a while to cool down. So it's just always locking it up. It's having to go so quickly with the traffic, and sometimes it's, it's, it can be a bit dangerous. So this device, I think, will change the way that I get about in a manner that encourages me to get out more and just explore the environment that's around me rather than just pass it to get where I want to go. And I think that that's a great thing. Now, some people have said online, and some people will be saying right now, that this device that I have might make me into one of those... Uh, if you've watched Wall-E before, or Wall-E or whatever you call it, the human race in there has evolved by the time it's Wally's time and the Earth is, is all destroyed and people go off on the spaceship and everyone just becomes fat blobs and don't they don't move, they just have everything with them and everything that they need and they just go along in sort of little hovering pods. And some people sort of said that perhaps that's what, you know, we're, we're getting like, this is just a device to make people lazy. I definitely don't agree. It just depends on who, not what the technology is inevitably going to bring but the person that uses the technology and in the way that they choose to use it is the way that it will respond to them I wanna dance by water beneath the Mexican sky Drink some margaritas by the Listen to the more that you play at midnight Are you with me? Are you with me?